connect something now. Everybody read. One, two. Jesus is speaking like a businessman now. Ready? What shall it profit a man? Hold on. He's talking profit here now. What shall it profit a man if he does what? Gain the whole world and loses his soul. Loses his soul to who? Gains the whole world from who? I will show you that there is a transaction that this woman does that you don't pay with money. You pay with your soul. When Satan came up the mountain and met Jesus, he said, bow to me. Let me save you the rigor of going through these mountains one by one. All the kings there, I put them. Bow to me and I will give you everything. He said, for it was given to me. What shall it profit a man? So there is a technology in the spirit. Watch this. Babylon has a system of increasing men. But you can know whether a man is increasing from the economy of Babylon or the kingdom's economy by one litmus test. Watch his soul. If your soul dies as your wealth grows, there is a fraternity. Because Babylon has an assignment to extract away your soul in exchange for things. Please hear what I'm teaching you tonight. Are we together? You were a prayer warrior before the business came. But the business came and was so constructed in a way that you can't pray again. So your prayer life is going down but your wealth is increasing. An exchange has happened in the realm of the spirit. That John. <laughs> that John 1. It's just one. Third John 1. Let's go to verse 2. Third John. Popular scripture. Now it will make sense to you. Ready to read it? One, two, read. I wish above all things that thou may prosper. But, but, he gives you a caution. Make sure that your prosperity is also even as your soul prospers. This is what the devil will never give you. Mm -mm. That I prosper and my soul still prospers. The devil says, no way, choose one. Now, there is a generation that is saying we will not choose one. That's where the battle is. This is why this meeting tonight is here. It has never been that you can choose wealth and your soul too. You have to choose one. Choose to be blessed and then your soul goes in exchange as the collateral for your wealth or the souls of your children. You have to give something. And now here comes a group of people who say, I will prosper, but even as my soul Please sit down. That's why I told you this is not a wealth seminar. This is more than a wealth seminar. This is prophecy. I'm showing you the prophetic dimension of these things. I know your grandfather was rich, but at the exchange of what? Are we together? That he will not hear the sound of the name of Jesus in the corridors of his house. And you come as a very zealous graduate. I love Jesus, but I want to prosper. And Babylon says, no. We control this economy. Based on what? I will rise to become a manager and will not sleep with anybody on the way. He said, no, it's not done that way. I will get a job, but I will not bribe with 200,000 in advance. Say, who do you think you are? In Nigeria? So the, the real commodity is not real estate. It is your soul and the world. There are people who don't collect money. They don't need it. There are realms where you only pay with your soul. The receipt writes 
head with your soul. You want to do ministry and rise to regions where nobody knows your father and your mother. Who do you think you are? You want to build a church and you don't come and bow to us? We, we. They know themselves. They are all around the world. Let me tell you this. Hear me. If it is influence you want to rise to, let me give you a very good advice. There is a meter in the realm of the spirit of the rising of men where spirits look at. Once you have not gotten to that level, nobody comes to you. But there is a threshold level when you get to, uh -uh, the, the devil becomes interested in your case. Who is this lady who is rising like this? Okay? Many people like her. Many people like him. You are worthy of our negotiation. And they will come to you. They will come as men and they will come as spirits. What I'm telling you this night, go and ask any blessed man. They will be angry with you or they will admit it. This is the other side of wealth that cannot be spoken. It's a realm where when you get there, you come out quiet. Saved or lost, just come out quiet. You are not allowed to discuss with anybody that is there. This man talking to you is not a fool. Oh. Let me tell you, when you see me talk like that, I'm not just doing some religious things. I have met, I have met multi-millionaires. I have met billionaires. I'm not financially illiterate. I'm, I'm about to share with you my testimony. It is true that no man can rise unassisted. It is true that there are realms that are within the power and the will of men to stretch to. But there are dimensions that is not given to men in this earth to rise beyond. Whether you will admit it or not, let me tell you there is a level of influence you cannot cross. Not in today's world. It's not true. We continue to fool ourselves and we allow ignorant people fool us that it's just with intelligence they got that far. No. 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 Let, let God be true and let every man be a liar. In 2007, Until then, I had not taken the issue of finance seriously. I took anointing, God, ministry, and all of these things. Please listen. Am I wasting your time? Please, this night, your heart, this, this thing you are seeing, your, some of you are sitting here for the sake of your children. What I'm teaching you, I've already gotten it old. I've gotten it for myself. And then I had a vision. In that vision, a man of God in this nation, I was before him. Then I sowed a seed. I brought some of what I, I had and I dropped it. And he said, no, there's still some money in my pocket. I should bring out everything. So I brought out everything and I dropped it on the ground. And then he blessed me. The next thing changed and I was in a room. And that room, there were different currencies on the ground pounds, dollars, naira, you know, different other currencies. And then I was asked to pick some. Surprisingly, that lust of carrying all was not there. I just picked some of different currencies and I held it. And then I saw a light and I looked up and I heard the audible voice of God. And I had four words, massive kingdom wealth transfer. These words. Are we together now? And then a few years ago, I was praying. And this is when I confronted a spirit that I want to talk to you about. I was praying and crying that God will bless and lift his people. Then all of a sudden, my, my ceiling just shifted. And standing before me was this creature. The eyes was as big as the head of a man. 
Like imagine that and then the tail, it looked like, um, like a dinosaur. But the tail had its own life. I'm just sharing with you an experience. Are we, are we together now? And it was looking at me with fierce anger. Red eyes. And it says, so you, can, you think you can bring God's people into financial blessings. That was my conversation with that spirit. When that thing happened, my life entered a dimension of wealth. I said, what is this? What is the mystery? What is this one again? There are decisions that we make that keep us poor. But there are spirits. It is true. Are we together? This is what he's looking for. Your soul. Not your money. Not your bank account. You've heard the popular statement that they sold their souls to the devil. It's not a lie. Oh. And it's not a proverb. It is true. You don't sell your soul to the devil by meeting him and say, devil, take. No. If you intend to rise to a level where you become one who is a pillar for the coming revival, you can learn about prayer, you can learn about fasting. If you miss this lecture, you will pay for it, I guarantee you. You see what is happening? School fees is increasing. Parents, talk to me. House rent. Land. We were having a discussion at lunch with pastor and his wife. And he was telling me of the, the price for one plot of land. In this your area. I said, that's why people are angry. You see someone talking to himself alone and just moving. And he's angry. And, and you say, are you okay? Why will I be okay? You know, all that kind of thing. I mean, you see it happen. People talk on the street. Even when they are sleeping. That's how far depression can go when you reconfigure a human being to become something else. The concentration of members is, not, is, is less than 10 minutes. If they give you 10 minutes, they are mine. They are looking at you, but they are not there again. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not just trying to make you laugh. These are serious issues. The top three reasons statistically confirmed why marriages fail. Number one is money and money related issues. Number two, intimacy issues. Number three, issues of in-laws and external influences. Money. Again, this money thing. The gospel is cheap, but it's expensive to take it to the lost. The body of Jesus was hanging on the cross. No prayer warrior could bring it down. No prophet. The prophets prayed Jesus from heaven to earth. But they could not pray Jesus from the cross to the toe. No amount of intercession would take that body back. Because the body was hung by a system that was antichrist. It took a man of wealth called Joseph of Arimathea. Your salvation that you are laughing as if it just happened in one small pit. Wealth played a role in bringing the body of Jesus down to his virgin tomb as a prophet said it would be for salvation to happen. Are we together now? There are many people who have books that have been inspired by the spirit that can change nations and had visions and the Lord told them make sure these books get to the ends of the earth but the book has not gone beyond their community for one singular reason not revelation not lack of prayer resources we have many people in the music ministry here they will tell you the challenges that they face that you have to stand for truth it's a difficult thing if you don't have anybody you are taking care of, this message will not make sense to you. The average person in Nigeria has at least three or four people depending on your obedience to God's principles to eat. 
Some of them are our parents. Where will I start teaching my father mystery of this and, and wealth and, and will he learn? And yet you are connected to them by blood. You cannot leave them that way. It's difficult to send our children to schools that subscribe to the value systems of the kingdom. And because of money, we will send our children to places that are devilish. The person teaching them does not have, I mean, you leave your children well cultured. They return back like, 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 like cultists. Because they were under the, and because you too, you are busy looking for money. When they come back, you are asleep. By the time they are ready to go to school, you are out already. That happens for 10 years. So the devil makes sure anything that represents light, the eyes of your child will not see it. And the tool is money. So the only mentors they have are people who do not represent the value system of the kingdom. There is a serious time bomb that we are programming and laughing at. And if we do not arise, a generation will come. This is why our teenagers hate God. The devil carefully grew with them. And right now their obsession is something else, not God. You off your television, he will switch it with his phone. And continue watching what he's watching. You talk to him and he say, no, my rich uncle said this. And you stand there. How do you defend that statement? Remember, you are broke. Remember, you are poor. I was told about how much these people invest in sound just to have a concert. I couldn't believe it. I don't know how many houses you buy with that money. Is that true? If somebody comes to marry your daughter and tells you he's a child of God, he's born again, Jesus is Lord, he has been taught and mentored. As honest as you are, you hate to do it, but you have to ask him, so young man, how are you going to take care of my daughter? If it does, don't worry. I'm saying not God we are talking about here. Do you know how many people have married outside God's will because of money? They knew that this brother is the will of God. But they said, you, you know how life is. I mean, this is, this is not my fault. They were explained to him and said, we, we know we are supposed to be together. But the reality is, I can't, be, you, 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 too, you, you didn't try for me. So I have to just get another person. And on the wedding day, she's smiling. Will you take this person? Yes, I do. She knows she's in trouble. But the family is depending on that as a breakthrough. Ah. How will I call on your name and end up in shame? Will I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? Hey. 